Hey, what's going on? I'm hanging out here in Las Vegas with Sarah Mortimer, right? Did I do good? I did good. Sometimes I get nervous, but she's from the, te the tortoise group here, and we have a happy day because a little tortoise is getting a new home at a really cool facility, and we're gonna tell you all about it. Our animal mission is simple. Education in action, conservation in action. This is Camp Kennedy. I don't, I don't really know your story Daniel too well. Jones. That's what I'm. That's the look I'm going for. I got for. that. Yeah, I'm I going for right it. Away. No handsome young man like you. Thank you very Daniel much. Jones. I appreciate that. Did now, you get to make that much money? Uh, well, unfortunately, no. Uh, but <laughs> we'll but talk to him. We'll about talk that. about that. Yeah, I think you could help me out. <laughs> so this is Bill, and Bill. Now you were a guest here. Uh, at this facility, right? Tell yeah, me a little I, bit about I, your story. I, I, I was a prisoner. <laughs> oh, come on. That's oh, not what they, they said. Wonderful. Yeah, I, it's that's a great place to be when you're sick. Fantastic. Wonderful place. So now, what is the connection between our new tortoise friend, Wild Bill, uh, and yourself? Do you, have you always had an affinity for tortoises, or what? What? What no, is it? Why I, did you I, bestow I, I've this I've gone gift out them? to Red Rock a lot of times, and I've never seen one. Oh. Okay. And I can't understand it. Then I saw this big open space here and these wonderful people here. I couldn't believe it that they didn't have a foxhole. Yeah, many a burrow, right? Yeah, but they only let you have one. I know, I know. <laughs> I know, well, it's tough. It's kind of funny because you seem like me. I love, when I see a courtyard like this, for me, I want to see living yeah. things in them, you know? And that's part of what the tortoise group likes to do is they're taking these animals and we're working with nature. We do so many things to disrupt their habitat, but the great thing about being in Vegas is you, if you qualify, can adopt a tortoise and you can share your backyard with one. And we're gonna find out that there have been a few modifications to the courtyard. One, which you're gonna do right now, I think people wanna get right to it. They want you to cut the ribbon uh, because right oh. over here is the tortoise's burrow. Oh wait, don't, you don't cut her hair, it's beautiful <laughs> already. Okay. Oh, no, the ribbon. Tough. The, oh, ribbon, the ribbon. The ribbon. <laughs> the ribbon. I like. I, that's hair. why we're calling this tortoise Wild Bill. Yeah. Yeah. I think. <laughs> I think you were in a lot of trouble. Would you look? Do you need a hand? Can I help you, or do you want to do this on your Put own? Put that okay. in your nose for the, a while. Thank you. The altitude. The altitude's getting me. I'm in love with this man. This is my kind of guy. Oh. All right. Sixty. Uh, yeah, I, I'll now. get it right over here. Good deal. Go ahead, here we go. Bill, what are you doing? Are you making paper mache? No, yeah. I hope I have as much energy as Bill does. When you're 37? When I'm 37, exactly. There. All right. Yay. Here we go. Sarah, come on in here. So, thank you so much. Um, so, Sarah, um, what does one have to go through when they want to adopt a tortoise from your group? So in order to adopt a tortoise, um, it's required that they have a yard. The tortoises do have to live outside. That's the most important thing. Um, then the second most important thing is a burrow, an okay. area for the tortoise to go where it can escape the extreme temperatures of the desert. So they have their burrow set up here really um, cool. where Wild Bill is gonna be brewmating this season okay. so he's already getting in preparation of that it's yeah. starting to cool it is down here. It, you know <laughs> I made the comment that it's getting a little cold I'm as you know I'm from South Florida guys and it's warm all the time but uh, as she mentioned you got to have the burrow and the really cool thing about burrows in the desert is the further underground you go the more consistent the temperature similar when you guys watch we talk about the sulcata tortoises very similar behavior with this North American species so they dig the burrow do you have a question I, Tom I have Tom a question likes to chime so in. wait so Bill, who yeah, Bill. is over here, that's his like that's little Bill's hangout. House. But this is his whole area. Like, yeah, is this it all of this? Yep. And so he's so got the whole courtyard. He's got the whole courtyard. And the great thing it's gonna love is the guests. Uh, you know, when you add an animal to the environment, especially an animal like a tortoise, they're very therapeutic. They're they're methodical. They're slow and steady. And in many cases, some of the folks here have to be inspired by the tortoise because sometimes getting better 
doesn't happen fast, you gotta work at it. And I think this animal will really teach people and inspire them to kind of attain that goal. And with the great staff that's here, I know they're gonna get behind him and use him as, as a tool to help people get well. Um, but there's so many cool things going on here. It's such a nice story. Most importantly, now we have an animal and Bill looks to be captive raised. Yes. All right, so Bill Cash was, rated. no, no, not castrated. <laughs> no, you're okay. Uh, the, the, he was not castrated, he was captive raised. And you could tell by some of the pyramiding and, and it is illegal. Uh, this is a federally protected species, correct? Correct. So, you know, how do the animals come to be in your group and in your care? That's a great question. So let's back up. Okay. Go back to when they were federally listed, people already had them as pets prior to their listing. And those people were grandfathered in to keep them as pets. So that's where we have this captive population. That's where it comes from originally. And what we do is we help rehome a lot of those tortoises that are already in captivity, whether they're surrendered by their previous custodian or if they're found in a residential area. Okay. Now it is illegal to take them from the desert. So on the outskirts of town or if someone comes across a tortoise on a construction site or in the wild, that's handled by a completely different agency. Okay, it's and here he comes. He's kind of finding his way towards his new house. And what's really cool is once he finds that burrow, he's gonna re, he's gonna re reposition that GPS that he's got inside of him and he's going to be able to know where the burrow is he's going to also find where the water source is tortoises are creatures of habit as you guys know I'm always saying that tortoises are creatures of habit and they actually have a small range and that's why it's so difficult when you remove one of these animals from their range if you take them as a pet or if their range has been fragmented from development so what happens is if you have an animal that's a pet, right? And you bring this North American species in your backyard and you have a different species of tortoise and they see each other, it's possible that they can, they, they can transmit disease between them. And if you take that tortoise and put it back out, move it around, you would then cause a death sentence for a lot of other healthy groups of tortoises out here in the desert. We are in the Mojave still. Is it yes. the Mojave Desert? Let's go over here, folks and see what he's doing. I don't want to get in front of him. Yeah, I just want him to see. Another, another very important like thing. He knows where he's going. Well, he's, he's very curious and he's investigative. And I find that desert tortoises are an incredible survivor. Okay, because these animals, not a lot of rain here in the Mojave Desert, as you can imagine. And this animal, when it does rain, will drink and drink and drink and drink. And they're able to store that water. Another thing you never want to do when you see a desert tortoise out in the out in the woods or not the woods out in the desert uh, you never want to reach down and pick that animal up because when you pick him up he'll void uh, he gets scared you scared the piss out of him Bill and basically <laughs> what will happen is if you put him back down he's just lost all of his moisture reserves and uh, it could be a death sentence if there's no standing water for him to drink so right now really cool Wild Bill is uh, in, that's full speed for Wild Bill, by the way. Uh, and uh, basically, he's just doing his thing. He's investigating and looking around. So now I wanted to find out what are some plants? So many folks on my channel are asking, what are great plants for most of my tortoises to eat? Now this, this will, guys, this will work. The plants she talks about, I'm sure you're gonna use a lot of um, native species here. We try to, yeah. those can be hard to come across in okay. the nurseries occasionally. The best ones would be like glow mallow because that's what you're finding out in the desert. Okay. Desert willow is a really common one. It's a beautiful shrub or tree. Okay. And they can eat the blossoms of that. Um, yellow bells is really common. Roses is super common. And let's see what he does here with this water. Let's see if he can, he must be able to smell it. Yes, sir. Look at that. Look at this. How great is this, huh, Bill? This is all you're doing, man. You got this animal a good home. What do you think of the setup? I think it's fantastic. I mean, like I said, so many times the courtyards in these, uh, you know, in these buildings um, are a beautiful space. But I don't just like plants. I need to see animals that are birds and animals using the space as well. Yeah. And that's, I think, the way forward. Uh, in the 21st century for many of these animals. As you guys know out there, sometimes captivity is the only solution because many of these animals are being forced into extinction through habitat loss. So if we can all work together like these fine folks are doing, he's a celebrity over here from, from everybody out here working here at Wellbrook. 
And um, we need to work together with nature and share our backyards with nature. And that's kind of something we always talk about uh, on the channel. So this is, this is amazing. It's really cool to watch him walk around. So in about another week, he'll be down for the season, won't he? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, although it is supposed to warm up this weekend. Is it really? It's supposed to get up to 90 on Friday. Get out of here. So, that's my kind of weather. Um, you might get a couple weeks out of him. We'll see. It depends what the weather does and it depends what he decides to do. Yeah, there you go. They know better because they've got the internal clock working and the days get shorter, the temps drop, and they know time to bed down in my burrow and he'll even fashion that burrow to his liking he'll dig it deeper as needed he'll clean it out they're very good housekeepers oh, it's special going on in the burrow uh, so certain setting it up or, or oh well, inside or? <laughs> well so these are me. actually completely enclosed now um i'm sure you're probably oh, okay. actually familiar with our older design that allowed the tortoise, tortoise to, to burrow more to yeah dig. um what we run into the issue with that is collapsing burrows yes. okay um and not knowing if the tortoise is in there or not. So oh, this design actually, I wish I could say I was responsible for it, but I'm not. It's a great design. We've yet to have a tortoise refuse it, but it makes it so that you can check on your tortoise so you can still see it, it in there. Cool. Because um, they are really good at escaping, as yes. I'm sure you're yes, familiar with. Yes, they are. With. Well, sometimes they'll dig under the walls and you can have a collapse, a partial collapse, that collapses part of the tunnel and then they'll dig up out and they'll just start wandering around and you don't want them to get hit by a vehicle or anything like that or yeah. some uh, well-to-do person. I've had people try and take tortoises and put them in, in swampy Waters, areas or yeah. marshes and stuff like that. So you want to make sure your tortoise is properly contained. And one of your founding members, Betty Burge. Now guys, I used to live in Las Vegas and I actually adopted a tortoise from the founder of this group. Uh, his name was Turbo. I had him for uh, the whole time I was here in Vegas. Uh, to my knowledge, he's still in the backyard. The new owner loved him and kept him. And um, he was a lot of fun. It's so much fun to wake up in the morning. He's out there sunning. Uh, he was a little spoiled. He actually tapped on my back door and That's would come funny. into the AC. Oh so I kind of <laughs> spoiled him. But uh, for the winter, he always went out into the burrow. And it was sad to not see him for a few months, but there he would be the first real warm day. It's so, always really exciting when they yeah. come out. <laughs> yes, it's like it works. They actually do this, you know. Uh, and what's even uh, you know more exciting is knowing that there are folks out here uh, that are doing good work for the native wildlife here in the Mojave Desert. As you know, Vegas, a very thriving metropolitan area. So it's good to have people like Sarah and the Tortoise Group doing their thing. And I was going to say, you know, when we're talking about something exciting, something exciting exciting for me is seeing uh, these animals reproduce. But you guys have an interesting theory. You're trying to to curb that. Yes, um, mostly because the captive population is actually a direct threat to the <laughs> wild population here. So it is illegal to release a captive tortoise out into the wild because they can be carriers of disease. And when those diseases spread to yeah. the wild population, it can cause a mass it, fatality. And, and being that these are federally protected, you cannot have more than a certain number of these animals uh, on your premises. So if the tortoise group says they're putting one tortoise here, it has to always be one tortoise. Uh, if they, if you wound up getting babies from perhaps retained sperm, which is something that the desert tortoises do, the females can breed once with a male, never see another one again, and over the course of a few years still have fertile offspring. So uh, they're actually spaying and neutering these animals, which is interesting not an easy thing to do with a tortoise. It's not, and we don't sterilize every single tortoise okay. that comes through. We have put on sterilization clinics in the past years, and we're trying to in, pre um, in future years, and try to bring education to the general public that it's not conserving the species by breeding these animals in captivity. Okay, fantastic. Well, uh, why don't you go ahead, we're gonna have a link down below where you folks can go to the tortoise group and find out if you're living in Las Vegas, how you can get involved and help them out. I'm sure donations are always accepted. And habitat, backyards are needed as well, and well-meaning, knowledgeable people to take on this, this responsibility, because as you know, it's a lifelong one in some cases. Um, so anyhow, where can they go? They can go to tortoisegroup.org. Fantastic. And before we leave, it would not, I, I would, I would feel horrible not to speaking with Bill one more time. Bill, anything you want to lob at me? Any verbal uh, Olympics you want to do? Um, because I'll you're... surely get your pay raise. Thank Indiana you. Jones, okay. All right. And the people that really did do this were the people who were the custodians here who helped it. That, 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 you can't believe what they had to do to make that. Right. That was a little work for them, but they made it. 
I, I, on, on behalf of all the folks out there that watch these videos here on, on our channel, I just want to say thank you for, for what you did. Thank you guys for what you've done and thank her. All right, everyone, we're going to sign off right now and uh, go check out tortoisegroup.org. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.